Hello everyone, welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create server to server connection security rule in Windows Server 2019 firewall using group policy. As we know that connection security rules establish how computers must authenticate before any data can be sent. With connection security rules, we can use IPsec to ensure confidentiality, integrity and authentication in data transport across channels that are not secure. In the last video, we have seen the steps to create an isolation security rule in Windows Defender Firewall using group policy. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check out that video first. Server to server security rule generally protects the connections between servers. When you create the rule, you specify the network endpoints between which communications are protected. You can then designate requirements and the authentication methods that you want to use in that specific rule. For this demo, we are using the TSLAB created in VirtualBox. We have three Windows Server 2019 virtual machines. This is our domain controller named WS2K19-DC01 for my local domain. This is our member server with the host name WS2K19-SRV01 with the IP address 172.1.8.72.6. This is our second member server with the host name WS2K19-SRV02 with the IP address 172.1.8.72.7. In this video, we want to create server to server connection security rule for our member servers. Let's go to our domain controller and open Group Policy Management Console. But before we open Group Policy Management Console, as you can see, I have created one OU with the name Secure SRV and I have stored both computer accounts of our member servers under this OU Secure SRV. So after creating Group Policy object, we will link the Group Policy object to this OU only. Let me minimize Active Directory users and computers. On Server Manager Console, I'm going to click on Tools, select Group Policy Management. Let me maximize it. Uh, let's expand Group Policy Objects. Let's right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I'm giving name Server to Server Connection Rule GPO. Click OK. Right click on Newly Created Group Policy Object. Select Add it to open Group Policy Management Editor Console. Under Computer Configuration, I'm going to expand Policies, expand Windows Settings, expand Security Settings, expand Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. One more time, expand Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security and then click on Connection Security Rules. To create a new rule, we need to right click on Connection Security Rules, select a new rule. This time we will select server to server as we want the authentication connection between the specific computers and click on next. To create secure communication between two computers, we need to define the both endpoints. Under endpoint 1, I'm going to select these IP addresses and click on add. Define the IP address or IP addresses for endpoint 1. Here, I'm going to enter the IP address of our member server WS2K19-SRV01, which is 172.1.8.72.6. Let's confirm that. OK. Click OK. Under endpoint 2, again, I'm going to select the checkbox, these IP addresses. Click on Add to define the IP address. Here, I'm going to enter the IP address of our second member server which is 172.18.72.7. Let's click on OK. Click Next to continue. On Requirements page, I'm going to select Require Authentication for Inbound and Outbound Connections. Click Next. Here, we need to select the authentication method. In this video, I'll select Advanced as we do not have computer certificate. Let's click on Customize. We have two options to define authentication, first authentication and second authentication. 
I'm going to define the first authentication only. So under first authentication, you need to click on add. You can select authentication method of your choice. I'll go with computer Kerberos version 5. Click OK. OK, first authentication method is defined. Method is computer Kerberos version 5. Click OK. See, you can also define second authentication method if you want. Let's click on next. We'll apply this rule for domain profile only. So I'm going to clear the private and public profile checkbox. Click next. Enter a name. I'm giving name server to server connection rule. Click on finish to create server to server connection rule. We can confirm that the server to server connection security rule is created successfully with endpoint 172.62 endpoint 272.7. We can modify the rule as per the requirement. And for that, you need to select the rule, right click on it, go for the properties, and modify the settings which you want to modify. Okay. Now I'm going to close group policy management editor console and we want to link this group policy object to our OU where we have stored the computer accounts of our member servers. It is a secure SRV. So let's right click on secure SRV OU, select link an existing GPO and from the menu I'm going to select server to server connection rule group policy object. Click on OK. Let's expand the OU. The group policy object is successfully linked with our OU secure SRV. Now let's go to our member server 1, ws2k19-srv01. Let's manually update the group policy by running command gp update slash force. Let's press enter key and let's do the same on our second member server. Press Windows R key combination, type cmd, press enter key, type gp update slash force and press enter key. Okay, group policy update has completed successfully. Now I'm going to open wf.msc. This command is going to open Windows Defender Firewall Advanced Security Console. Let's click on Connection Security Rule and here we can see the rule which we have created on our domain controller. Server to server connection rule between endpoint 172.18.72.6 to endpoint second 172.18.72.7. Let's check the same thing on our member server 1 as well. Click on connection security rule and we can confirm the rule. Okay. So group policy configuration part is completed. Now it's time to test the rule. To test server to server connection security rule from this member server, I'm going to ping our second member server ws2k19 hyphen srv02. So let's open command prompt. Let's go to the command prompt, sorry, and type command ping 172.18.72.7, which is the IP address of our second member server. But before uh, pressing enter key, uh, let me open Wireshark, which I have installed on this member server. So we want to capture the packets as well. So let's select Ethernet adapter and double click on it. Okay, now let's go to the member server one and let's press enter key. As you can see, we are receiving a reply back from the member server 172.18.72.7. Here you can see the first ICMP packet's response time is higher than the normal one. It is due to the IPsec negotiation phase. Now let's go to the member server two and let's stop packet capturing first. Okay, here we go. Now here you can see Internet Security Association Key Management Protection. This is the negotiation phase of IPsec and here we can see that main mode. Uh, you can also uh, see these modes in uh, under monitoring. Let's expand Security Association and click on main mode. Here you can see main mode local address 172.18.72.7. This is the remote address. First authentication method is computer Kerberos version 5. You can also click on quick mode 
to see the more information about that quick mode as well let's again go to the wireshark and if we try to search for icmp here we are not able to see any package why because between both computers now we have a server to server communication rule which is encrypting all the traffic passing between the both servers and that's why we are not able to see any icmp packets if you search for esp we'll see lots of packets and these are the eight packets uh, which we have transferred during the ping process so we can see that ipsec communication between our both member servers that concludes the video on how to create server to server connection security rule in windows server 2019 firewall using the group policy thank you all for watching this video have a nice day